rant one. I have a gig in an assisted living facility, and the green room is also the hairdressers. And in the hairdresser, there is a pile of AARP magazines. Wait, there are two youngins back there who maybe don't know what AARP is. Let's do it for them. The American Association of Retired You will get your first invitation when you're 50 in one day. How do they know you? I mean, how many of you got that? And your boy goes, right, you pick up, you, I'm too young for this, and you fling it in the trash. They are the most, they are more persistent than flies on a horse's tail in summer. They get you. And on the cover of every one of their magazines is somebody who is 60 and one day, and darling, they look marvelous. In this case, smiling up at me was Goldie Hawn, looking exactly like she had coming out of one of those laugh-in windows 35 years ago, going, huh, 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 huh. and over the top it said, Goldie, still sexy at 60. I read it right, dolls. It did not say Goldie still having sex at 60. Big difference. She should be having sex a la vie. From our mouth to God's ears, may we all be having sex at 60. But that is different from sexy at 60. I mean, why would the benchmark publication for aging want to promote the idea of being sexy at 60? I mean, there are so many things that are easier and more important to be at 60. Why not Goldie generative at 60? Why Goldie banning Pinter from all plays at 60? Goldie, a great cake baker at 60. Goldie. Getting rid of the Salem Power Plant for our good health at 60. Salem, yes, go the great cake baker, community organizer, wonderful, I mean, why sexy at 60? Sexy is like a mountain. At the foothills of the mountain, you are 16. 16 is sexy. You cannot be 16 and not be sexy. 16 is the flower that attracts the bee that gets on and that keeps the species going. Have you ever looked at pictures of yourself at 16 and thought, God, I was so hot, why didn't I appreciate it? No, right, okay, exactly. 16 is sexy, it is God-given but it is a mountain. And the longer you stay on the mountain, you know what mountains are like? The trajectory gets harder. Gravity pulls at your ass. The air is thinner. But we live in a culture that says, go girls, go. Stay on that mountain. Keep climbing. Stay sexy. They'd rather have us there than, well, fighting for voting machines that authentically count our votes. We live in a culture that would rather have us climbing the sexy mountain. Look at me. I'm 57 and I'm still hot, mama. Well, then making an environment that is safe for bears and bees and birds to live in. We live in a culture that would rather have us holding on to the peak of that mountain at 60 saying, look at me, baby. Am I hot? Do I have it? I have it. I have it. I have it. Then we'll stop being two illegal, immoral wars in the Middle East. And here's the thing. We actually engage in these behaviors. Come on, ask me why. Why? Oh, thank you. You don't want to be marginalized. You actually want a 30-year-old to be willing to talk to you. You want to get out of the stupid speeding ticket? You want your car ready on time?